Hey guys, Chris here from Solar Proof. I want to show you today how to make a commercial solar proposal with Solar Proof in just a few minutes, uh, around 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and click new project. Um, we'll just type in a kind of a industrial sounding one and we'll call this uh, commercial project. Now we're going to add a new customer, commercial customer, give him a status, new contacts, make it Joe's Boots. That's a pretty good company for some solar. Now Joe Boots. Okay, we can also put in energy retailer, NMI. Roof type, roof height, and we'll go next. So now we come to the design stage. Just having a look here. Hmm. Let's try to do it on this one. So yeah, not too bad. We'll do a couple of arrays. So we hit add new panel area. Let's make them facing sort of northeast. Now we're going to do one big area here. Double click to finish. So we've got it a little, almost right. Let's just adjust this angle. So about there we've got an extra panel here so just drag that corner in. Um, we could almost put another row there but let's just leave it like that for now. And we'll put a few of these on. So copy and paste the arrays. Copy, paste. And this one's a little bit tight. So we are going to adjust this by grabbing these corners, waiting for it to load. Okay. Now, hmm. Some sort of update. Okay, now. We're gonna just use this. Oh, we might as well fill these spots here, right? We're doing a commercial job. Usually you wanna try and utilize that roof area. Look, I'm just gonna copy paste this one instead to fit in here. Okay. So we're sort of utilizing the area. Um, there's some other ways you could do, you could fill in all this, the rest of it. Um, but that's for a different video. So we've got our commercial system we want to put on, 68 kilowatt. Let's have a look at the inverter. We're going to put in a couple of Fronius's. Um, well, let's make it, what have we got? We don't have quite 60 kilowatts there. So let's go and find this, this one. And we'll do four of them. And that should keep us good for our STC situation. Okay, now we're going to complete the layout, adjust this screen area over the building, confirm that image. We're going to put in some racking, um, let's say clip lock racking. Okay, confirm. Now we're going to choose a usage pattern. For our commercial system, we're gonna upload some data later anyway, so we just choose this one. Go next, power bill. We're gonna put in a complex power bill, so we can just skip over that. For the pricing, let's do 76 and a half. Now we've got to our warranties and notes, so if you have any different warranties, put them in there. Notes will say uh, included in installation cost. And we might also say, um, like, uh, what's it called? Elevated platform. Costs included. Or well, you can say whatever you want in there. Whatever needs to be said about the site, you've probably done a site inspection already. So then we click finish. And we've done our project, mostly. We want to actually choose our commercial template for this job. So we're going to apply that. 
This one comes free at the moment with Solar Proof, with any account, monthly or annual. So that's all flowed through now. You can see the 68.25 and everything. Let's click this menu button and just go through, check that we've actually filled everything we need. So usage and rates, usually we need to do something here for our commercial system. We're gonna upload a load profile first of all. Now I've got a few here, let's choose this one. And it goes straight in. We're gonna call this Joe's Boots Profile and set it as commercial. We can put in some tags in there if you want. Makes it easier to find in the future. Save and use that one. Now it's taken the usage off the profile as well. It's put all your profile through so you can actually see it here in energy use. Uh, it's doing a demand analysis based on all that. Um, but it looks like it hasn't flowed through yet. So normally we have to click recalculate if something's not flowing through yet. Now we click edit rates. We don't want this flat rate energy bill. We want it unbundled in this case. Now we need to do time of use times first for our energy charges. So we need to click edit here. For the energy time of use times, I'm gonna use just this two rate profile and load it in. You can see it visualized here. If we need to change any one of these, we can click these buttons to include some shoulder or whatever you might find from the retailer's website. So we've saved that one. We've only using peak and off peak for this one. Um, I'm gonna try and get it a bit uh, realistic. So maybe 12 cents and if we do 16.57 and half that cost for off peak. S res, L ret and other environmental you might find something. AMO pool fees, AMO ancillary. So I'm just making these up but you get something similar to that in most of these unbundled bills and you just follow line by line entering in the usage and cost so that we actually get the real rate. Sometimes they put in loss factors in there so that this is the only way to calculate the true rate with usage in kilowatt hours and the final cost on the bill for that line. Now network charges, we have options time of use or duos tuos. You'll know because it will say either like peak shoulder off peak or it'll say duos and duos. Now, in this case, we're gonna use time of use and let's put in a different energy profile. We can put in um, one with shoulder peak and off peak. And let's just put in some values, something like that. We'll just do the same for shoulder and then off peak. Mm, we'll do something a bit better than that. There you go, five cents. Now we have also some demand costs. less than that actually probably would be so other section for misc power bill we've got feed-in tariff for your solar we have access charges and meter charges so you might see just anything that's per day or per year you put in this section and it doesn't particularly matter if it's an access charge meter charge or other charge it all just gets added into the standing charges section so we've got a little bill summary here. Doesn't have any um, weight on the calculations, but it gives us an idea of what our bill should be. So let's hit save and return. Now let's just look over our pricing, make sure that's right. After SCCs, including GST 76,500. Let's hit recalculate. 
and we might see all of this information change. There you go, it's put in our new load profile, month on month demand. And we'll go through our proposals. So cover page, contents, executive summary, effective solar rate, that just gives you a summary of everything. Gee, it's a pretty good investment. Maybe we should charge a bit more. <laughs> so uh, power bill analysis, a lot of people like this page because it gives you a really thorough breakdown of charges that shows the customer we've actually looked carefully into their bill and you know branding it with your colors and your logo and it's got a power bill estimate change and you've got performance site energy use production financials warranties quote timeline for completion now of course you will also need to customize any of this before you go using it in all your future projects and we usually help you with that in the setup of your account so thanks for watching uh, if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know in the comments if there was anything you didn't understand or you enjoyed and um, yeah hopefully i'll speak with you soon thanks for watching